Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing today? Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. You guys are going to be so excited for this video. So this is going to be part one of a two part video. Just to let you guys know, I will be doing a January to what week is this? Um, the second week of July flip through, which is not your ideal way to do a flip through. I think it's either like quarterly or um, half year, but I'm doing things my way and this is how I want to do it. So <laughs> I'm going to be bringing a flip through up to this far and then I'm also going to be doing and this has been a long time coming I've been wanting to do this for so long but sometimes I just get overwhelmed and I switch things around because I have so many kids you guys um, with that being said so the second part of the video is going to be um, my kit lineup so that is about to be super duper dope um and we're gonna just go ahead and get started <laughs> so i am going this is my kit lineup and this kit lineup i believe is probably maybe 8 to 12 weeks um i did leave out um, I think about two weeks just to give me some fluctuation room in case I decided to switch some things around because you guys know you're always getting things in um, and so I didn't want to what's the word I'm looking for um, commit myself to specific kits for the whole time frame <laughs> So, yeah, I had um, like the idea of leaving a week here and a week there open to give me the option to uh, rearrange some things. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get into this uh, flip through. This planner is the Happy Planner Classic that was gifted to me by my boo Tanika. I don't know if she's still watching my videos, but if you are still watching my videos, thank you so much, girl. I am utilizing this planner. This is my boo <laughs> for the year, along with so many other planners like drop a comment and let me know how many planners you guys are using for 2021 now this was the new year's kit this is a new year's kit so this was the first week of january and this kit right here is from the giving girl this kit was so pretty to me. Um, I did pull in a pink kimono deco sheet just to give it some pizzazz. But I'm not going to lie. I felt like I had kind of overworked this kit a little bit. I'm not sure how you guys feel about it. But that was my feelings. <laughs> so here we have some... Inspi Girl, Indian Ivy Ink, Rosen Tea Shop. I believe this is Planning City, I'm pretty sure. Um, Krishia Designs, Indian Ivy. These little deco sheets like the Celebration are from Pink Kimono as well as the Fashion Doll. We have some sweet, sweet studio designs i believe that's her name but she changed her name to something illustrated um but i love her so much um okay who else we got um coffee monster co more indian ivy ink we have some valia not valia tuma who is that maria italian plans and then we have this was from Planning City, I believe, because she started doing foil. All right. And 
And then this was my monthly. It was like really critical for us to get out and vote. So I did want to notate that critical time in the world using a capital chic design freebie. Um, this was actually a Erin Condren monthly kit. Um, I used to use her monthly kits, excuse me, all the time before she got in all that trouble, um, not supporting or being compassionate towards the Black Lives Matter. But, um, this is a paper shire, which I love so much. In the month of January, I actually lost my grandmother. And so I pulled in this, um, Isis Jewel box and you know it just has a little angel and you know I have put like a little um little just memra memra can't even pronounce it right so I'm not even gonna try it again but anyway um yes yeah, so don't look at that <laughs> was on when this is I also believe from Capital Chic's Designs. Um uh, we have some Birch and Birdie. I'm not sure who this shop is from. We have uh Pink Diamond and then we have some little pops of snowflakes using the Happy Planner Classic. This kit right here is from Nikki Plus Three and um this was actually a gorgeous kit it was a nice spread i really liked it um i don't feel like it was overworked and i love the foiling and everything which i hardly ever use silver foil but it looks really really good so going forward in the future i want to try and use a little more silver foil um, but yeah, this is um, Sweet Paper Studio Designs is her name. We have some Simply Gilded, some Isis Jewel, uh, Valia um, Tuma, DK Designs, and you guys know who that is. We have some Mr. and Mrs. Mint, Rose Shadow Collection, paper dolls in speed and yes and then these little flags come from the sticker party which some of my shows did come back on and so i need to get back into them um this kit right here oh i believe this kit right here is actually from planning city I hope so. I, I believe so. Um, but yes, some of these kids I have for a while. So, you know, um, <laughs> they might not look that familiar to you. And then I like to keep my little, um, like keepsakes from when my friends send me happy mails and things like that. I like to keep that type of stuff in my planner and when I flip through, you know, I kind of reminisce. But yes, so I believe this is from Planning City. And then we also have um Simply Gilded and the this was from a freebie, I believe. This was from a freebie. Um Indian Ivy Ink. Just breathe. I want to say this looks like it's from Planning City. Um, and then we have Sweet, Sweet, um, Sweet Paper Studios. I'm sorry, you guys. Birch and Birdie, Birch. We have some more Andy, Paper Shire. And, um, yeah, Birch. Uh, Sweet Paper Studios, Rory Designs, I believe this is from Prairie Planner, Planner Prairie, something like that. I can't really remember 100%. Um, DEK Designs and the Sticker Party.
This was such a cute spread and I really love this girl from um, Capital Chic. Like she was the bomb.com. And these girls right here was also from Capital Chic. We have some Indian Ivy ink and this winter kit is from DEK. Now the only con that I have about um, the darker type of kits, it doesn't matter who it's from, is that when you make a box with this dark print, it's kind of hard to write in it and for it to be legible. Like, how can we really read that? <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, I feel like the boxes that we write in shouldn't be so dark. But let me know you guys' thoughts on that. We have I pulled in some Giving Girl boxes, which were really, really cute. And I was, um, at this point in the year, I started to try to focus on a little more foiling because I had got my foil game up. And I really love the foil game. I really love the foil game. All right, so see what we have next. Okay, this kit is from Sticker Bloom. This is like an older kit, um, but it's still very, very beautiful. Um, her name is now Vanilla Paper Co., I believe. But yeah, this kit was from her. Oh, no, 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 no. Correction. This kit was from Blush Bow Boutique. And I will never forget because I was dying to use this kit. And I felt like this was the perfect kit to dedicate to my grandmother. So, yes, that is who this kit is from. Sometimes my memory be a little hazy because, <laughs> you know, we have so many different shops we're trying to keep up with. Oh, I need to use some of these. It's from Indian Ivy Ink. Let me pop this out. And then this is a card from... Oh! a card from Osawashi, my boo McKinsey. Yes. Okay, you guys. So this spread was, this monthly spread was using a kit from Pink Kimono Papers. And the highlight of this spread was me pulling in this doll from Indian Ivy Ink. And then me distressing the roses from a happy planner classic sticker book i did incorporate as i told you guys um i had the monthly sticker book kit from erin condren that my bestie had blessed me with i think i bought one and then she blessed me with one and so anyway it was a perfect match and so i didn't use it to get rid of it and i actually freaking love the month of february this right here was one of my favorite monthly spreads. And this kit, who is this kit from? No, this kit isn't from my spoiled planner. Um, dang y'all, I don't know who this kit is from. So, I can't even tell y'all. <laughs> it was a pretty spread though. Definitely was. You guys know I PR for Indian Ivy Ink, which my code is TIFF20. All that information is listed in the description if you guys are looking for some savings codes or discounts. I'm on probably like eight teams right now so you know i got plenty of opportunities for you guys to shop and save and this was a pretty spread too this spread i know for sure is a 
all hold up so my boo coco has sent me this and this was a b6 kit and i believe it was from sadie's I believe it was from Sadie's. Thank you, Coco Poo, if you watching. Yeah, because I was like in my mind. I said, what made her give this up? But that was so nice of her. And then I also incorporated a deco sheet from Birch and Birdie, which has the little bunnies and the little cloud hearts. It was so cute. Look at that little bunny delivering the mail. This um is actually in her shop. If you guys really like this, let me zoom in. Yes, you can pick this up at Birch and Birdie, and you guys can use my code to 15. Did I zoom? I don't think I zoomed out enough. Oh. Well, did I zoom out too much? I don't know, guys. But, I mean, do you guys like that view better? Hmm. Maybe we might we might stick with this view throughout the rest of the planner flip through. Yeah, so this was cute. Um, We have, what is this? Cookie sticker, Valia. We have Capital Chic, Pookie Bear Cuties, um, Pink Diamond. Paper dolls. Yeah, and then some of these shops are repeated over here. Did I mention Mr. and Mrs. Mint? I don't think I did. Um, who is that? That is Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And Paper Shire. Oh, and let's not forget Simply Gilded. Oh, and one of my favorite shops, Fluffy Angel Stationery. Mmm. Okay, so this kit is from formerly Sticker Bloom, but no, but now Vanilla Paper. I'm still getting used to saying that. Because I had stopped shopping her for a while just because her shipping takes a long time. And so when she transferred over to Vanilla Paper, I wasn't really on the bandwagon. But I have to admit, I did go shop like she had a freaking awesome deal. And yes, I had to take advantage of it. Anywho, um, so the kit is um, at the time Sticker Bloom. And I pulled in Birch and Birdie. This was from Grumpy Bear, which is now Bear Necessities. Um, this is from... Sticker Shine, I believe her name is. This sticker came on a freebie that was in an order that I purchased from one of those sales around that time. But I can't remember her name. I want to say her name is Rainbow Bunny or something like that. But um, if you guys are interested in it, you know, I could do a little research if you guys drop a comment and let me know any of the stickers that you're interested in that I didn't name and I can help you guys out there. Um, this was actually uh, Grumpy Bear 2, now Best Bear Necessities. And this is like one of my favorite no spin stickers. This is one of my favorite Zoom stickers from Wonton in a Million. It was also a freebie and it was like a whole sheet. And so I still I still have some and I use them quite often. Um, I love this boo right here. This is from Inspi Girls, but right now she's taking a break on doing stickers and venture into something else. This is the Letters to Apollo, this divider, Paper Shire. And that's Paper Shire too, I believe. Then we got some Birch and Birdie. Mm-hmm. Indian Ivy Ink for when my stepson comes to visit. This was so cute. I just, I love it. Like, the month of February was so lit to me. Like, I am... Oof. I'm really freaking enjoying it. Now, this freaking kit is from My Spoiled Planner. 
and this kit is just so pretty you guys like everything about it is just so pretty and dainty and soft and warm <laughs> so many words that i can use to describe this kit <laughs> this doll right here is from krishia designs and i love her dolls because they are like an absolute total vibe a total different vibe and so i like the muted faces sometimes we got fluffy angel stationery and then we have this is paper and milk i love her stickers <laughs> they so cute and soft um okay one of my other favorites because what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to call off my favorite characters on the spread because when using so many characters it's will just take us all day <laughs> Um, MC Girl, Birch and Birdie, Indian Ivy Ink, Paper Dolls. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. All right. Um, and the foil, I believe, is from... Planet City, maybe? I don't know, you guys. I'd be having too much-ish. <laughs> Y'all ever feel like that? Just having too much stuff? <laughs> okay, so now we're going into March. And I have racked up on the monthly kits from Pink Kimono Paper a couple years ago. And, you know, when you first become a planner... It's kind of hard to get your groove and know how you want things and know what you want and things like that. And so I try not to just use my stuff just to be using them. I want to use my stuff with a purpose. And so I held on to these. And so um, I think I almost had like a full year's worth. So, yeah, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. Uh oh, excuse me. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty of these monthlies. Now, her monthlies did come foiled and un, un, I guess you would say dated. So you can get it with your month or without your month. And I believe she does ask you what color foil. I'm not 100% because that was a while ago. But okay, and then also again, of course, I incorporated the Erin Condra Monthly. So just moving on. Um, <laughs> this little cutie is from Pink Kimono. Thought she was so cute. I thought she was so cute from Valia Tuma to um, commemorate International Women's Day. She's like just strong, powerful, unbothered, doing her thing. I'm loving this green foil. Like, <laughs> I love how, isn't that so pretty how that hits the light? That is so pretty. All right. And then um, also in this corner, what I did was I cut up the Happy Planner um, sticker book. And I believe this was the had to have been a floral sticker book. And then I just lined it up around the perimeter over here in this corner. Um, and you know, some other little touches here and there. But yeah, that was like, I got to get back into that. All right, so this is the first week in March. And this kit was so gorgeous. This kit is from Birch and Birdie. And this doll is from pink kimono papers and this is how i'll be feeling sometimes you guys this character is from or this sticker is from indian ivy ink walking dead did come back on and i just are you guys like me because i couldn't get enough of the walking dead when i tell y'all and then i watched a movie called 
Monster Hunter that end up being pretty good. I couldn't believe it. Okay, uh, who is that? D. Kang. Of course, some Birch and Birdie. Had a little date night. Bay has surprised me. Took me to one of our favorite restaurants. Um, and so that was really cool. So I was able to pull in two paper shard stickers right there. Um, work was getting on my last nerves. And so that cookie sticker. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just keep on yawning. Oh my God. Um, this cookie sticker was just so perfect to go right there. I loved it, this kit from Birch and Birdie. This, um, most of the washi in here is simply gilded. So you'll see a lot of that. This to commemorate that Boo had visit with us. Um, I love the DK. Um, get that money, get that money, get that bag, girl. India Ivy. Excuse me, Indian Ivy Ink again. Then I double up on Birch and Birdie. And this kid, um, this kid was so beautiful. And I love that I had this doll from Krishia Designs because she was just perfect. She just fit in so well. And then I added this little border in each corner that my boo T had sent me from the Rose and Tea Shop. Thanks, T. Yeah, I love how I did this spread. This spread was so cute. So we have um, Planet City. I know that's from her. And I believe this is from a company who's going to remain unnamed. Got some Create With Pen. Yeah, so pretty. Then I was able to pull in um, the young man from Indian Ivy Inc. Some paper, sh not paper shire, um, paper dolls. We be eating a lot of pizza, but I'm, I'm starting to get tired of pizza. Um, so I'd be like, I don't want no pizza now. Now moving along swiftly. This kit is from Pink Kimono Papers, and I did incorporate my Boo Nash prints, which if you guys shop her, you guys can use my code TIFF30, and that is at Nash Prints. I do not have a code with Pink Kimono Papers, but if you guys want to mention my name in the comments, that would be greatly appreciated. All right. Um, yeah, I've been rocking with Amber, which is... um the shop owner of pink kimono for about three years now or better and so um as i stated in some of my older videos you know she continues to improve and so that's why i continue to rock with her um but yeah this was saint patrick's day or saint yes yeah, saint patrick's day weekend or week get it together and i just um I love how all my spreads are a little bit different. Like, they're not all the same. And that's the joy of, you know, just planning freely without any rules. Like, you don't have to plan a certain type of way because that's what you're seeing everybody else do. <laughs> this cutie right here is from pookie bear cuties and this was like a spring kit and i believe was this the first week of spring it was and so i was so happy to use this kit because i had this kit for a while and i hate when i miss the opportunity to use a kit and so i was able to use this kit and it came out so pretty um, most of the shops that I shop, um, are premium matte. You do have some, um, shops that are not like pink kimono paper is not premium matte. Um, outside of her so far, that is pretty much the only shop that's not premium matte so far. Now, this right here is from 
my boo Tracy and she has a shop called Planner Tales and she does these little like dashboards and inserts. We done made it up to April, y'all. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> yeah, spring is just, was definitely in the air. It's summer now, but yeah, spring was definitely in the air. And I love how I did this monthly with the, I just love the color palettes. Love the color palettes. Here is another, and this is Easter. Here is another sticker bloom kit. And I pulled in this beautiful doll from Paper Doll Stickers Co. You guys can use my code TIP15. Her shop is closed for the month of July. So once she opens back up, you guys can definitely use my code. The link is in my description um, down below in this video so you guys could check that out I love how I layered this right here the Indian Ivy ink with the Given Girl and then this right here is I'm pretty sure almost 100% sure that this is Mini Riot Co., which you can guys can use my code to 15 as well at Mini Riot Co. Um, I love like all the pops of foil in here that I did. Like definitely for 2021, I have stepped my game up with the foil. Um, on this day, I had an interview. I was running behind. And I was kind of sad about it, but that was okay. Um, and what else? This cutie right here, this is a no spin sticker. And this is from my boo Jenny. So you see she's hiding the um, Birch and Birdie. She's hiding the bags behind her back because she knows she shouldn't have been spending that money. I love doing the flip throughs because I'm like, oh, I did some really, really cute spreads here. This kit is from DK Designs. And most of the time I pop a Paper Doll Sticker Co. doll in. Um, I've been a doll girl since the beginning. Like, the fashion dolls is my thing. The fashion kits, the editorial and photo kits, that's my thing. I don't usually do um, too much whimsical um, planning, but it may be something that I can look more into, um, you know, going into next year. Um, in this kit, I tried something a little different, like distressing some um, fun box shapes that I had, like this was from Simply Gilded, and then this one was from Indian Ivy Ink. So what I did was I cut them in half um, just to add a little dimension to my spread. And then this is such a cute little sticker from Create With Pen. Then we got Valia Tuma. Me and Bay, we are always doing something and being active like... I ain't no counselor or nothing or no relationship therapist. But, you know, in your relationship, if you're in a relationship, always remember to take time out for your companion, your mate, your significant other. And always remember to date. Because me and my husband been together seven, almost eight years. And it's still so fresh and new and it's so weird because you know you would think after this long like we would be on each other's last nerves tired of each other so on and so forth but no it's, it's still really good and i'm thanking god because you know not everyone is blessed with that, so I definitely don't take that lightheartedly. Um, but anyway, back to these spreads. So this spread is another spread from Blush Bow Boutique. And this spread, like, oh my God, the pinks, the purples, the yellows, like, 
it just does something to me so let me go back to the beginning and check something one second you guys okay so this whole year I want to say I might have started it on last year, but I started putting my date covers at the bottom because sometimes I be needing a change like for me and I just realized that I've been doing it for quite some time now. So let me know if you guys have ever put your date covers at the bottom and how did you like it? Um, okay, so um, got me some mini riot coat overlays right here it says be your own kind of beautiful i really really love that can you guys see that and i incorporated some sugar pop fizz actually it's probably been some sugar pop fizz foil in here that i have not been talking about my apologies um my code with sugar pop fizz is tiff 20 if you guys want to shop um giving girl cookie stickers um sweet paper studio indian ivy ink we have some Krishia right here. Wish I just used her larger um, doll, the same character, for a monthly that's going to be releasing or may have released today. So make sure you guys check that video out. Um, yeah, this is Isis Jewel, Pink Kimono, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what I did right here was, oh no, that's not what I did. Okay, I'm thinking of something else. Okay, so right here, I tried to try something different, which at first I was liking it. And then when I had looked back on it, I had just kind of was not feeling the greatest about it but I had cut up my foil and I placed it at the top to add some character to my headers and after I did it I just said why the hell did I waste my foil like that like I was really upset with myself but the main thing that made me love this kit is this paper dolls um paper dolls co or paper doll stickers co um doll right here like she's the cutest and she was a perfect match in the spread i noticed that i didn't use a lot of doll characters which is kind of cool to you know step out of your element and like i said do something different this was the week that i went out of town on business and it was so dope because you know it was all inclusive and so i didn't have to be a mom i didn't have to be a wife i didn't have to worry about um the house and i had lived my best life i was at the outlets doing my damn thing i probably gained five pounds because i was eating everything yeah it was the best time ever all right so here is a kit from birch and birdie and this was oh hold up let me see where we at we in april whose birthday was in april hold on Okay, so is my friend and co-worker Shanika's birthday. Then I believe it also had to have been someone else's birthday. But what I did, because this was a birthday kit. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to use <laughs> more than one birthday kit. So, because I'm a May baby. And so I was commemorating that it was 16 days until my birthday here. So, okay. Because I was like, girl, why was you using a freaking birthday kit? I wanted to use this kit so bad. So I just made up a reason why. This kit was so pretty. It was definitely the great um the best kit to you know be transitioning into spring um you know transitioning into may and it made me so happy i love the green and i love plaid so 
yeah this was freaking awesome freaking awesome sometimes i'll be wanting to see more consistency with my handwriting Oh, I just noticed I didn't use a doll over here in the sidebar. Well, usually I'll put my dolls anywhere. I don't always have to have them on the sidebar, but sometimes depending on the size, the sidebar is the perfect place to put them. Now, this was my May monthly, and this monthly is another fave. Like, I love it. I love the peachy, orangey, tangerine colors. I love my freaking little Magic Prince doll right here. This was my birthday, May 12th. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. And we went on vacation to Miami and we had a fantastic freaking time. And while I was on vacation, I had actually got another job. But I didn't quit my first job because, you know, you can't be doing that now. You got to make sure you like a job before you quit your other job. And so, right now, I'll be working two jobs and it's a little stressful. Not stressful, but it's tiresome sometimes. Okay, so this kit right here is from which is actually a very pretty kit. This is from um, Harriet Wright. And so, I actually got this kit from Harriet Wright and freaking Sadie's not realizing. And I was debating if I was going to use this kit again for our anniversary. But I thought that might be overkill. So, I think I'm going to use like Paper Muse Craft. Anywho, these dolls right here are from... Christia Designs and then foiling is from um, Christina Paper Studio, um, Sugar Pop Fizz, Mini Riot Co. And I believe this is from this little weekend banner right here. It's from Sticker Guru. I'm almost 100%. This is from Birch and Birdie and this is from Blush Bow Boutique. And this is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. And then right here I marked that I was um, doing my YouTube videos. So make sure you guys binge or watch some of my videos. And let me know what you think. So this is a birthday kit that I had got from uh, Paper Muse Craft. And I really freaking had enjoyed using this kit. Like, this kit was super cute. And this was my birthday. And we did a VIP at one of these um little crab leg place that I really, really like. And my booze had came through. We had a fantastic time. So thank you guys for coming out and celebrating with me. This is from my newest addiction. And I really freaking love. It's a uh, full box overlay. But I had wanted to just put it in one of my boxes and just let the foil pop through off of the white so I did not put it on top of a box this girl right here is from Indian Ivy Ink then we got Valia Tuma Paper Shires and so on and so forth and then that is uh, Paper Dolls Oh, this cutie right here from DK Designs. And if you didn't see, that's from Paper Dolls and Paper Shire. And these are, these are great. These little hotel itineraries and flight itineraries. Those are from Pink Diamond Co. Pink Diamond Planner Co. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this cutesy little um kit is from pink kimono papers and i really love this kit i was supposed to use this kit for the first week of spring but i end up using it um 
in May. I think this was the third week of May because I was like, well, it's still spring, so it shouldn't matter. But I freaking love this kid. Like I told y'all, <sighs> purples and pinks, yes. And I like how I did this sidebar with the clear overlay, full box overlays and stuff. Look at my boo sugar pop fees. Yes. This cute this kit was a cute kit. This was like, I believe, a prism kit. And I really, really like it. This box right here reminds me of Nicki Minaj all day long. Like <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Hey girl. <laughs> This was my mom's birthday, and I love this little sticker from Paper Dolls. Dang, we coming to the end. This dashboard was from Rose Shadow Collections, and I love like her saturation and her color payoff, and the thickness of her uh, dashboards. Cause this dashboard is a pretty thick this was my june monthly and i was trying to commemorate juneteenth like black his not black history but um just the movement and everything that you know we endured and how we were you know moving forward and you know just Black Lives Matter. But I wasn't, I was hoping to have some kits that came in for the month of June. Excuse me. But they didn't come in like they were supposed to. And so I had tried to just pull something together. And this wasn't a fade for me. But my intentions was good. Here is a kit from Rose Shadow Collections, and I freaking love it. It's the Sunflower Kit, and it's just so freaking beautiful. Actually, I think um, when I posted this kit, this kit was my most like pose um, year to date for 2021. But so we got some Krishia, we got some Indian Ivy. This is from um, Paper Minty Foiling from uh, Mini Riot Co. Letters to Apollo. We got uh, Paper Shire, Paper Dolls. These are from Cookie Stickers. I love them. We got Sugar Pop Fizz in here. Um, cookie stickers yeah this was lit this a new sh well i'm not sure she a new shop but this is from um studio bliss then i got some fluffy angel here and then i pulled in some giving girl and it was so fucking nice i like love this and I'm happy that I had got the washi because the washi was beautiful. It's a sun kissed. This was another cute spread that I liked that I did. And this kit was using um, the Sugary Gal. And then I love my doll over here from Paper Dolls. And I got the little idea of layering um, the washi first and then putting the doll on there from my boo Shanice. I'm not sure who she got it from, but y'all know we all borrow ideas from each other. So, you know, if you guys want to do something a certain type of way that inspires you, you know, by all means necessary. By all means necessary, do your thing, boo. But just try to, you know, credit that person um, if you remember. But anyway, so I had combined the Sugary Gale and Indian Ivy ink because they had the same artwork and it was the same color tone and palette. And so I had loved it and I had pulled some of each other's um, stickers together. I forget what they call it when you do that, but I call it a collab. 
So I collab their stickers together. And then this is from freaking Sugar Pop Fizz. It was on my freebie. If you guys had ordered from her and got my freebie, then you guys got that sticker. But she does have a full sheet of those um, bees in the shop if you guys want to go check that out. Now, this was my Juneteenth week. And... I don't like how I did my monthly, but I definitely like how I had did my kit. And I definitely love this sidebar. <laughs> so it was different from what I'm used to doing, but um, everything had worked out. I pulled in um, some stickers from Studio Bliss along with Indian Ivy Ink because... They really complemented each other. Now, this one right here might have been a little bit off, but I did not care. I was using that sticker, period. <laughs> this week right here was the bachelorette party where my friends had flew in. Um, and we had celebrated our Buddhas getting married. And we had such a fantastic freaking time. I love this freaking um, Isis Jewel sticker. I was disappointed that she sent it to me in this matte paper, but you know, whatever. Boo is a banging and she looks so good. And I love her, like decluttering. We had to get um, maintenance done to our AC unit. And so we had to like go and clear out the attic. And that was so annoying, but it looks so much better up there. <laughs> Facts. And it was also my cousin's kid's birthday. I have been turned up for the past three weeks, y'all. Don't tell nobody. Like your girl been in these streets. I've been kicking it. I've been having the time of my life. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, um, this card right here is from Capital Chic, and I thought that was cute and perfect. So I had to go get the car cleaned up because I could have my booze riding around in my carpet need vacuum and crumbs everywhere because we just could not have that. And so the baby is looking good. Like still, what is that? Four weeks later, three weeks later. Yeah, she's still looking good, good. She can use a little wash on the outside, but no crumbs on the inside. Okay. Um, so yeah, it still's fine in this spread. Birch and Birdie, um, Mini Ryako, a Sugar Pop Fizz, um, just all of my favorite shops. And this kit was, I'm sorry I didn't mention it in the beginning, um, B, B and R. And that came out pretty, this, this came out pretty good. I really highlight that week. Okay, we are moving on to my freaking July monthly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so, <laughs> yes. It's the July monthly. I just dropped the plan with me for it, so make sure you guys check out that plan with me. We are currently in the month of July, and this is my... 4th of July spread. I don't celebrate the 4th of July. I'm a Juneteenth girl for the past the probably six to seven years. Well, I say five to seven because I can't mark exactly when I had got put on to the Juneteenth. But um, I know it was before 2017. So... Might have been like 2015, 16. Oh, that's been, yeah, that's about right. Okay, so anyway, this kit is from Fabulous, Fabulously Planned. And her color payoff is lit. Her paper is matte, but honey, you cannot tell that this paper is matte. This print on this matte paper is lit. You got my boo over here with her lemon A from Paper Doll Stickers Co. I mean, y'all got to get her. So use tip 15. 
looked like shit. <laughs> and this was from a collection sheet where you get the deco. So you get the doll and you get the deco. Now the difference between a collection sheet and a just doll sheet obviously is that it's a deco sheet but also that your doll is larger. When you get the just doll sheets you get multiple stickers of the same doll but they're not quite this big so um you know for me i be getting them both because i just love paper dolls so much i'll be like shoot give me them all i will use them all i reuse um you know like i used her here i will probably use her later on in the year i be using my dolls okay anywho um yeah, this spread came out so cute. What did you guys think? Like, go to IG and show this spread some love. Because it's posted. Like, all these spreads is posted. Go check out my page on IG. So, we got um, paper dolls. We got uh, milk and paper. Valia Tuma. Uh, Fluffy Angel Stationery. Isis. Rose Shadow. Create with Pen. D.E.K. Freaking Indian Ivy Ink. Um, cookie sticker, sugary gale, freaking Maria Talent, and then we got um foil, we got uh mini riot co uh planet city freaking oh and these glitter headers are from Birch and Birdie, they so stinking cute and of course i told y'all you know i'm a simply gilded girl most of the time when it comes to the washi <sighs> this is my most up-to-date spread that i'm actually going to be posting on today um this kit is from sugar pop fizz and i freaking love this kit i pulled in these headers from what is her name chic blossom and these are like super duper cute um uh, foil is from sugar pop fizz and mini riot co and then it was my little boo's birthday joy turned six and i actually got to go take her her present today and so i'm so excited about that um this is rose and tea shop paper shire um Who is this? Um, Beneva. And this is Twilight Planner Studio. But she's not doing stickers anymore. But um, that's still my boo. And then this Valia. Because I'd be like, work from home be lit. 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 And then my boo right here from a Paper Doll. So, yeah. This freaking spread was cute. All right, you guys, we have been on here for an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick intermission. And if you guys wouldn't mind joining me in the next video where I'm going to be doing my kit lineup, I will see you guys there. Love you. I need to get some water. My throat is parched from all this talking that I've been doing. But I love you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Share, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.